sounded a bit slurring. Okay, we are here to do the Sagittarius Karmic slash X slash third party energy. This is for soulmates, twin flames who are dealing with third party energy, which can be a person, place or thing. I don't need to tell you guys this. Now I am tuning into the astrology and I'm going to try and power through these energies. If you are wanting a private booking, you can go to the link below as well as I do the coaching on the channel as to my psychic downloads for the twin flame path and the astrology of what's coming up moving into 2021 so i'm really going to be covering that quite heavily this month so if you do want to tune in and you are new a very warm welcome i'll see you during the live chats now fourth house placement is very home related dynamics i'm having to listen i'm multitasking during mercury in shadow at the moment because I'm recording these at the end of June okay so there is fourth house placement something pertaining to home at a delusional state and a psychological state is coming up for them this month also with the Venus energy being in the seventh house um, a lot of talking maybe in the and socialization and looking at relationships in a different shape now that it's going direct that can be an interesting um, energy because we do have mercury in cancer retrograding so it's also okay not only the social side of things and romances potentially even looking back to that energy of okay um what are the connotations in the surrounding energies i.e children family do you gel do you have the same ideal uh, you know it's falling in the eighth house is there a reciprocal give and take can we build is there codependency all of these subjects are coming up now I have pulled cards for where the eclipse and the new moon energy which is cancer Capricorn axis has been also a lot of their transformative state within their energy being that the node is the south node in Sagittarius now the north node in Gemini what they're moving towards is purging an egoic belief system and a transformation inside themselves spiritually, especially connected to their spiritual paradigm, their value systems, beliefs, etc. As well as moving towards their connections and, and building those tribe energies of what resonate with them. But there are spiritual lessons for all of us, be it we're at high frequency or lower. We can all look at these videos to see sometimes when we're triggered where we're falling into okay let's resurrect ourselves up and actually move ourselves forward but the separate section of this video really does cover the way we're looking at the tf connection um what's actually happening in the dynamic whether they're together or not what what's playing out in their cards more from a spiritual point of view okay so coming up in the past position again a lot of deep reflection into maybe people that manipulated them if they've been this way inclined uh, <clears throat> again i am feeling ego energy and it was the first thing that was coming through and i had to sit back and go okay why am i picking such heavy leo energy now the leo placement in a sense is our strength but um it's also when we're tuning in it's sun energy is third eye energy it is the leo placement in the astrology so in a perspective sense when we're healing we come through the third eye first and then we release it through the crown through the chakra system and you directly see a 3d situation surrounding yourself transform once you've reached a closure point with that and an understanding because neptune's retrograde there is something happening on the home front and there's something in a sense that they're missing this is helping them look at things differently, but it doesn't mean it's comfortable. And again, oh wow, okay. I pulled the cards and I just bounced straight in. Sun energy. I told you I felt Leo energy. Not really seeing things a particular way that they should be potentially. This is where they're currently standing. It's like, wow, failure to launch, failure to see a situation for what it really was, leading to separation maybe not utilizing their frequency um, correctly maybe thinking the grass is greener on the other side um, maybe trying this a few times but still getting the same outcome this can be a recurring theme or a pattern um, and again major themes of relationships are coming up for Sagittarian energies for the next two years let's say let's just keep it at that at this point it is more but we'll leave it at that <clears throat> So however this is playing out, this is very karmic in nature. Anyway, this can have happened to them. 
It doesn't have to be it's them doing anything. It can be surrounding them, almost a spare base frequency of, okay, something's not quite right now. Are you leaving me? Are you not happy with me? Um, what have I done wrong? It doesn't mean to say that they're actually operating that way, but synchronistically we tend to attract similar vibrations when we haven't actually purged something or learned something or created those healthy boundaries with ourselves where we can actually use that intuition and assess situations and say, okay, weighing up the pros and cons, is this worth my time? Is this reciprocal energy? Is this person willing to work with me? And at a time, potentially, yes, it appeared so. But something, in a sense, has changed. Now, financially, having to make sacrifices, which makes sense because Mercury and cats are falling in the eighth house, potentially, if what they could depend on before isn't there, their energetically now needs to be a sacrifice. This may not mean that they want to do such. There can be other situations that have moved away from their energy and transferred that frequency to other domains. There can be splitting of assets. But they're almost wondering, and I'm going to pull a clarifier away from there, you go, why all of a sudden money is... Uh, it might be the way they're relating to it. It's like, uh, bigger goal energy potentially. Looking at the bigger picture, if I wanted to get from X to Z, uh, what would I need to do to achieve that? Yeah, it's it's almost like someone's left them and they transferred their money to somebody else. Especially with this card. Career sector. <clears throat> Emotions coming up surrounding this time. There can be a brand new opportunity occurring for them. Uh, let's see the 10th house placement. That would be right. Where's it going? We'll list some of them up. There can be an inheritance coming through, which is offering this person a new opportunity. <coughs> I feel it's a lifeline from universe. Now, let me get into the reasons why. Eighth house placement can be to do with wills, legacies, and can be even insurance payouts and things to that degree. Whatever this is, there's money coming at left field, sort of at the right time, which is going to help with the career sector because I do feel whatever they're working on might be finalising some aspect of a document. It doesn't just have to be linking in with their career sector, but I do feel it's coming in at the right time in a very adverse situation in their life that they're actually going to need it. This can even be them directly waiting for it, but it's taking ever so long. And it may be due to the fact that we do have it retrograding at the moment. So if they're trying to actually manifest the cash component and they're having to gain a lot of paperwork, a lot of information with Saturn going direct and Pluto still in retrograde and Jupiter, this can be a very testing time for them emotionally. And it's, it's really taking up time where they're having to work so hard to achieve some of these targets and it is actually quite exhausting them. Some of them are taking things well below uh, what they usually do. Oh, I'm, not, I'm feeling more this is to do with the document. Um, very scared, very, very much feeling like, okay, left out in the cold energy. I wonder if I got that anyway. Yeah, almost like they feel like, wow, how did I go from this to this? And oh, I'm seeing a polarity. I'm seeing a, a great um, confusion as to how they've got themselves in this position. Let me say. I do feel other things that is playing it around them. Um, is triggering them. It's like not the right time. They're a bit jittery. Also, if they are working, I am feeling it's almost like they need to be careful who they tell things to. Especially because we have the 8th house placement. There can be some jealousy surrounding some things that they're getting. Or this could be vice versa where they're actually looking at other people and they're jealous of other people. Yeah, it's, it's jealous of other people. Now, during the eclipse. There can be something that doesn't go according to plan when it comes to um, contracts. This can be linking into the career sector. Also any document that they've been waiting on with the Cancer Capricorn axis. 
um, payments and things to that degree they do need to pay careful attention to but if they've been doing something that isn't in their higher good the universe isn't allowing it to happen and it is you know the judgment in reverse it's not actually going in their favor so whatever this is especially if it's coming from an egoic position I feel it's just not really balancing for them now near the new moon they're gonna to have to tap into their dream state their intuition and because they're uh, the Pisces energy of the crown chakra which this card directly connects to both Pisces and Cancer the frequency I'm getting for the blue moon on the 20th in Cancer which is the second house placement is almost like they do need to tap into their intuition when it does come to their hopes and dreams and a physical home related environment and when it links into what they directly can depend on and you know where to go from here I don't feel they're going to be saying this though and this can cause a lot of conflict yeah it's almost like blind faith somehow they're going to have to make a compromise and I do feel it's almost like they're trying to make right with people and connections around them and with tribe they have the two of coins in reverse there's a lot of conflict surrounding people around them and with their family again there's a lot of the ego and the ego energy like I mentioned it's very much linking them with this Leo energy coming through for them is the ninth house placement which is really uh, religious and belief systems which is very much almost like their own energy Sagittarius does actually link to spiritual gurus kings and queens um, so it is this frequency of like why is something not working up um, so that they're, they're clashing really with family and home at the moment again because there was a knock at the door okay so we've read that part we're going to get into the romance aspect of things and see where the karmic energy is you know how they're traveling what's coming up in their energy connected to the astrology we also have Chiron retrograding in Aries now for them this is very much connected to the fifth house placement this is to do with luck it's to do with children uh, we also have Neptune with the fourth house placement in retrograde. They're needing to really. Whatever's gone down, it ain't good. This can be to do with, okay, belief systems, spiritual tools, how do we rebuild from here? Whatever has happened, and I'm going to pull a clarifier, it's really heavily on their mind. Now, as to psychology aspects definitely fourth house energy something happening on the home front um, reflection in relation to what the direct foundation is and whether it is going to bode well this is feeling um, the logical aspect of needing to balance things time to rebuild so again <laughs> The, I feel it's more fair based frequency it's like okay something's gone down this isn't so great how do we look at this now am I going to have to go through this all over again now it is very turning to somebody who feels safe almost slight frustrated which I think we've all been there picking a sure deal and now feeling look I picked a new situation but I'm the laws of attraction I'm really um, picking a very similar energy whatever it is it's made them feel very unprepared they were not prepared for this in the heart of it this is what they were attempting to attract but it just feels in some shape or form the way in which you know the whole situation has played out it just hasn't panned out the way they thought it was so hmm. they're really fighting for this they're really fighting and maybe even communicating their truth as to know this is look this is the way I see things going I believe we can do this I almost feel it's painting a picture as to how this can get better so I do feel there potentially has been conflict conflict to do with family and home whatever they were unprepared for was maybe it's serving them how do I place it 
we've got enemy in reverse somebody maybe kindly has spoken and said their truth so I don't feel it's coming through in a very negative state it's like look we have a problem there's some healing that is required here something's not working I'm not trying to be mean enemy in reverse mm, I wasn't quite prepared for this this can even be a conversation about the fact that something's not going according to plan. This person's now on guard, willing to fight for it. Maybe even feeling a little bit triggered. And this could be on either side of the fence. What's playing out here at a potential level? Because I'm feeling three energies, but I'm not feeling TF energy. TF energy leaving and new energy coming in. The reason why I feel it's saying, trying to do something, a time to rebuild. I feel that they've tuned into this and they're like, they're feeling something. They're getting that radar bells happening. Very fourth house placement. Tuning into it. No, this isn't looking so good. If I want to have my way of life, this person has transformed. They thought it would take a bit longer, but it has transformed this person, whatever's going down. They've picked up on something. I do feel they've picked up on betrayal energy. But I think it was the time energetically for this separating. So it's been a long time coming. That's what I've been saying. This new energy, they thought the first frequency was very much a done deal. But they've realized that there's, it's no good crying over spilt milk. It's very tactical. They've found a new person to replace this frequency. But I don't think either's turning out the way they thought. And I do feel they end up with neither or. Because look, at a spiritual level, am I meant to deal with something? Um, it's generally a person isn't a plan. The spiritual blockage and the things that come up are relating to ingrained belief systems. So sometimes we feel this is happening to us, but it's happening for us. We don't feel that way when it is occurring. They're looking at their prosperity. They're very, very cautiously assessing what to do. They're being very critical. They're turning to their family. They're also, it's, it's weird. It's like they've gone from one hot pot to another and then back to the other. Neither energy is wishing to, I just, feel like a cat and mouse energy like painting a picture of wanting to do team energy it's not voting so well the reason is and this person may not be aware of it TF but I don't feel TF's the problem bizarre Australian <clears throat> I'm feeling a lot of putting a brave face on, okay, having, having this facade in a sense of bringing the reality of what they know TF wants. I do feel half, harsh communication. They're not trying to get the angle right. They're bringing the traditional energy, but they're also not sad. They're not cautious also about the way they're speaking. And I'm kind of feeling with this outcome, it's, it's due to insecurities, but it's a painted picture because they want to manifest something. They're wanting to bring this back in. I'm gonna pull three cards. This whole process has been very unique to tune into with those roads. Intuition, yeah. Intuition. I've been mentioning Leo energy. 
of the belief systems. Okay. They're meditating, right? They're looking into their third eye. How can I do? What can I do? How can I sort this? How can I create balance? Even looking back at the past, potentially they knew, knew some change was coming, but they didn't do anything. It's like mm, taming their passion, maybe indulging, compiling, whatever that means. Now, in their belief, it's time out, but they actually do know if they don't act soon, these two opportunities for them are gone. It's almost like fence sitting energy. They're having to move forward, but I don't feel this energy is coming back. I feel TF has seen all they need to see because the foundation of it is they know it's not going anywhere. Okay, what's TF doing? I mean, the advice for it's very cutting. Okay, I feel this is a conversation. If there's children involved, it's not it's not pretty. Whoever you are as a cross watcher, if you're feminine or masculine, what you're gonna need to understand is because of the fourth house placement, Neptune is squaring Venus on the twenty seventh, the new moon on the twentieth. Um, is the secondary opportunity for this. Plus, we've got Chiron and Aries retrograding, which is to do with family, luck, and children. Wherever this person's self-esteem is at is where the belief system and the conditioning is coming from. Whoever the twin is that had or is dealing with this person, either at an external level, the advice initially that was coming through psychically was really keep your distance at the moment from this individual because they're processing, um, I'm feeling it's fresh. Fresh from a perspective that they may be calling twin out. But Twin is looking at this person, like it's like they've witnessed something and they're not impressed with what they've seen. Very cold energy, maybe concerns surrounding the environment. Uh, cognitive energy um, and something to do with parenthood and children. So if this person does have children, it doesn't have to be TFs. There could be an element there that is going on that is a little bit messy. I don't feel they're with them. Potential communication, yes, but not from a positive sense. Um, bickering, differing viewpoints. The compassion is moving towards the fact that this person does not understand what they're doing potentially because it's quite fresh potentially for those that do have inner childhood wounds or children they could be using the baby kind of card um, but it's showing there's not one for those who that resonates with um, yeah something in that energy one last card please yeah they're really doing their own energy right now uh, but I don't think it's going to be too long. Now, I will check in with you guys for mid-month energies. So if you are a soulmate to inflame and you want to check in with your mid-month, come through, have a look, and I'll have them there, as well as any of the twin flame updates. I'll come to your life, and I'll channel the live energy, which I have been recording for a week now. So I'm sure everyone is like, Hilda, so where are these updates? I'm sorry, I love you all. If you need a booking, link below. See you soon.